the grind. It is the lifeblood of the galactic economy. Millions of pilots out there hauling data, shooting people, and scooping up materials just to see those little progress bars inch up. It's the reason many pilots end up retiring planetside, but for those that eke out an existence of make work, opportunities present themselves. For those who would bear the whips and scorns of grind, there is access to new ships, engineers, or permit locked systems. Women will respect you, dogs will admire you, NPCs will get out of your way in the mail slot. Of course, no one actually enjoys the grind. Some asteroid bounty hunting can be great fun, but when you really need specific materials or a specific faction to like you, the universe has ways of really showing you what a mean old bastard it can be. I had spent the last few days grinding away at my Imperial rank, taking data courier missions from place to place, an intergalactic mailman doing it for your pure reputation. While my Empire rank was going up, the post office union was beginning to send assassins after me for devaluing their trade. But I was almost there. I'm a 99% lord, and soon I'll be a baron. Just one more little mission to hand in and I could get that sweet Summerland permit, as well as a clipper. But I wasn't just grinding for the love of it. Yes, I was on a mission within a mission within another mission while trying to figure out who had taken over my detective agency and turned it into a political faction, I had stumbled onto an NMLA terrorist plot encrypted within a dark communications network. Months ago, they had kidnapped Arissa Lavinki Duval, the Empress herself, and were keeping her in a cryopod in Summerland. That's why she hadn't been seen in public for months. Now I just needed to get the rank to get into Summerland and then maybe there would be a clue in there that would lead me to rescue the Empress. And with one last click in the mission board, I was finally given my well-deserved promotion to Baron. Spatula, congratulations on your promotion. Thank you, Nova. It was a hard grind getting from there to here. Yes, hard in the sense that it was boring and repetitive. A hard comes in many flavors, my computational friend. But now it's time to head to Summerland to check things out. Plotting course to Summerland. I arrived in Summerland, pretending to be a tourist as I scoped the system out. And so far, it was rather unremarkable. No special rare goods, no interesting points of interest, not even a good seedy punk music bar to distract myself with. Spatula, we should be looking for clues. Relax, Nova, I'm ahead of you for once. It was the very banal nature of the Summerland system that caught my suspicion. Almost too boring to be any reason to permit lock this place up. The perfect nothing burger of a system, making it the ideal place to hide an operation. And of course, the Darkwater security base on a local planet looked far too small and usual for it to be of any importance, which is exactly why I decided to head there. I found a group of NMLA soldiers at the facility and approached them. Well, hello there, gentlemen. Let me just get comfortable here. Uh, yeah, my name is Baron Suvo plant o -Nier. To a plant near. Yes, and I was hoping I could sign up to be a member of your little NMLA terrorist gang. So you want to be a terrorist, eh? Are we terrorists? Well, from the perspective of the terrorized we are, but we do prefer extremists, though, for future reference. Um, so can I join? Not so fast. For all we know, you could be a spy. A spy? <laughs> That's ridiculous. How do we know you're not a spy then? Well, well, if I were a spy, I'd be wearing my spy outfit, wouldn't I? And also, I'd have done a gun barrel intro and a musical montage to kick things off. It's a totally different brand identity, really. I don't know. That sounds like something a spy would say. What kind of terrorist experience do you have? Oh, well, um, I murdered an erotic novelist, delivered a bomb to some children on Christmas, and I set the bubble on fire by destroying the crime and punishment system. Um, that didn't happen. Well, it was in an alpha universe, so technically it got retconned, but I did it. Wait, I have an idea. Why don't you prove it to us that you're actually a true extremist? Okay, well, how do I do that? Go commit an extremist act and then maybe we'll let you into the NMLA. An extremist act? Yeah, go do something terrible and come back here and show us what you did. All right, then. I'll be back. 
Nova, we have a little problem here. What's that? Well, in order to join the NMLA, I have to go do something terrible to prove my worth. Oh no, not this again. Do you remember when you got a billion dollar bounty and crashed the galactic legal system? Yeah, 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 but this is different. How so? Well, that time it was all a ploy to get the attention of the developers, but this time it's to win the affection of an evil group of terrorists. Yes, that is a little different, but I'm not sure you're getting the point. If you become a terrorist then you'll be wanted again, and that will make life very difficult. I know, which is why we need to find a loophole. I need to commit an act of terror that's evil enough to get into the NMLA, but doesn't kill anyone or get the galactic authorities chasing me down. You have any ideas? It's gotta be as anus as it is harmless. Is that how you say anus? Heinous? Heinous? It sounds like anus. Heinous. Heinous. Heinous and harmless. That's what I'm looking for, Nova. Hmm, I think I might have something in mind. You will need to buy a beluga. Okay. Attention all Summerland pilots. The station is now inaccessible for all visits or trading by order of the NMLA. Any attempt to leave the mail slot will be met with beluga poops. Okay, Nova, how long do we think we have to do this for? As long as it takes to become the number one bounty in the system. All right, well, then I'm going to go sit in the hot tub. Let me know when we can get out of here. It only took a few hours before my slot-blocking antics added up, and I earned my terrorist street cred. I returned back to the planet to find the NMLA goons. All right, my NMLA friends, I'm back. And what kind of horror and mayhem have you done to the galaxy? Well, did you hear about the beluga blocking the slot? Yeah, that was me. Jesus Christ, this man is a monster. Yeah, I mean, we're political terrorists, not psychopaths. Oh, I, I, th I thought you guys would think that was cool. Dude, we blew up nine stations and caused millions of people to rebuy, but that's barely an inconvenience. In fact, the insurance companies were pretty happy with the windfall. What you did probably sent a few hundred commanders to solo mode. That's bloody dustedly. But you know what? We're short-staffed after Theta-7 blew himself up, so you're in. What did you say your name was? Baron Suvo Plantonia? Yes? Welcome to the NMLA, Baron Suvo Plantonia. We have just three rules. Don't tell anybody about the NMLA. Don't ask questions. What's the third rule? If you can't get the second rule down, there's not much point in having a third one, is there? Also, the mandatory space bingo nights every Thursday after the tick. Now, since you're new, you can take over our jobs for this evening, scrubbing the toilets and guarding this shithole of a base. That way we can go on the big mission. Big mission, you say? Just a little human smuggling. Human smuggling? Yeah, of the royal kind. Ha 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 ha. Come on Steve, we'd better get to everywhere before they take off. When we get back, those toilets better be so clean we could lick them. Come on Frank, let's spooky. Big mission, human smuggling. That could only mean one thing. They were transporting the Empress out of the system tonight, and I'd only have one chance to intercept them. I made it back to my ship and set course for Henry O'Hare's. I would only have a few minutes to intercept the ship before it left Summerland and disappeared with the Empress. I decided to get myself a brand shiny new clipper with my new Baron rank and spec it out for some delicate piracy. Those majestic curves and sleek Gudemayan lines would be nigh irresistible if the whole thing was shaped a little less like a cock and balls. But now this was my cock and balls, and I couldn't wait to thrust this smooth and shiny dildoist craft into the vacuous bosom of the cosmos. Yes, a clipper would be just the ornate tool for this job. A smash and grab human pirating operation in the heart of enemy territory. I'd need to get in, get off, and get out before any pillow talk or cuddling. And I'd only have one chance at this before the NMLA caught onto my plan and disappeared into the bubble for good, taking Lavingi Duval with them. I gathered enough information from the NMLA goons to know that the big job would be rendezvousing in this system I found the signal source easily enough. Of course, that was the easy part. The hard part was not making a dick reference when talking about the hard part. Upon dropping in, I found a group of Type 7s doing a space conga line, and I stealthily whipped out my manifest scanner, stuck to the rear, and began gently probing each of the ships, looking for the goods amidst the slaves and baked Summerland bio-waste. I just want to clarify, not all of what I said was just innuendo now. 
only... Apparently, I'd been followed by system security, and it was only a matter of time before all hell broke loose. My surprise advantage was busted, and just then I found the cargo I was looking for. A window of opportunity was about to be shattered like an instance with 20 commanders, and I shot my hatchbreaker limpets at the target as they began to high wake. Thankfully, the limpet gods were with me for once, and my aim was true. The Type 7's hatch busted open like an old bug on patch day, and out came an escape pod that my collector limpets grabbed onto like an anime fan with a printout of the blue-haired space waifu. I did it! I got the escape pod! Well done, Spatula. You actually did it. I know, right? Maybe after all these years flying ships, I'm finally getting the hang of things. Or maybe the NMLA are just really, really, really incompetent. Thanks for the vote of confidence, Nova. Now let's get back to Bologna's and we can uncrate this Emperor and get our rewards at the same time. I arrived back at Tidyman Dock and found the law waiting for me. So, Detective Spatula, you have decoded the NMLA transmissions? Decoded the transmissions? I'm no amateur. I decoded them, discovered the NMLA had kidnapped Orissa Limgi Duval, then got my rank up to Baron with the Imperials to get into Summerland, infiltrated their little terrorist gang, and saved the princess. Um, wow, that is a lot to process. And you have her here? Right here. But before I let her out, you owe me an introduction to the head of this doppelganger faction. Ah, we, oui, I did say I will do this, but there is one teensy petite problem. What problem? Well, the head on show happens to be missing as well. Are you serious? We. Oui. After you left me stranded in Eliot, I was hired by him, but it has been months since I have seen him. Damn it, Lala, you could have told me that before. You didn't ask. Well, at least I've saved the Empress. I don't see how this is actually possible. You say she is in here? Yeah, that's what I said. But considering the Garnus, I see she is uh, back on the throne. Uh, what? It must be another deepfake hollow me. No, it is confirmed by our witness. And also, you say you found her in Summerland? Yeah, it took me weeks to get that permit. Well, the Garnet News says Arisa Duval has made the system open for a few weeks for all commanders to go to war with the Dark Water. But I do not see anything about you rescuing her. But she's right here in this pod. But wait, if she's not in this pod, then who? Commander Spatula, it's me, Bradford! And I'm here to tell you that you need to move quickly before Advent completes the Avatar project. Oh wait, wrong universe. Bradford, what the hell? How did you do this? Ah, uh, yes. You want to know about Bradford's big plan? Well, strap in, because I'm about to give you the scoop. When you went off to Colonia, I hijacked your channel to start making elite decorous guides to help commanders learn how to fly good. But then uh, the galactic powers put me in jail for crimes against humanity because the tutorials were so bad. But then one day, a Thargoid attacked the prison, and Bradford escaped. I searched all over the bubble trying to find you, Commander. I heard you had a billion dollar bounty on your head, but you had disappeared. Y yeah it was in an Alpha universe. Yeah, so Bradford had an idea. Bradford went to your office, and he sat in your chair for days, waiting for you to come back. He didn't even get up to go to the bathroom, he just went right in your chair. But then one day, a French person called, looking for a detective. And it was me. Yeah, and I told him that our detective went missing, so I hired him. And then next thing you know, I kept hiring all these people until Dangus' investigations were getting pretty big. But still, you were nowhere to be found, Commander. So I thought, hey, what if we just keep hiring more detectives to find you? And I did, and we got really big, and uh, we became a faction. But uh, still, you never came. Well, I got busy, space legs and all, plus uh, I got a side job as a spy. Yeah, well that's when I heard about the NMLA, and I knew you'd go investigate them, so I dressed up like the Emperor, stuffed myself in a pod, and mailed myself to Summerland, and waited for you to find me, which you did! Yay! Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, the first part makes sense. It's a little obsessive and psychotic, taking over my own detective agency to try and find me, but how did you know about the NMLA capturing the princess? I mean, I only just found out myself. Oh, uh, well, one day this dark handsome man came to visit, and he told me everything. Uh, he said his name was, uh, Bobin? Uh, or something like that. Uh, and he said he wanted me to help you get on the right track. Something about a secret roadmap, which, uh, no one else can know about. Braben. Well, now it all suddenly makes sense. 
Raven wants to keep all the commanders from having any sort of meaningful impact on the galaxy. That's why he made the BGS and the unusually high grind to distract us. And he leaked the plot details to you in order to keep me from saving the real princess and having an impact on the story. This is the stupidest thing I have ever heard. Shut up, Lala. But Bradford, does this mean you're in charge of Dangus Investigations? No way, silly. It's been your company the whole time. Uh, Bradford only pretended to be the boss, like uh, Remington Steel. Uh, but I only wanted to find you, Spatula, because... Because... Because Bradford misses interrupting all the time, and he's been very lonely after he came to the Elite Dangerous Universe, and, and you don't like Bradford, so so I worked hard to make, a, make you a faction so you would like me. Ah, oh, jeez, Bradford, that's... It's actually really nice of you. I, I kind of feel bad for avoiding you all these years. It's okay. Uh, Bradford knows his voice and attitude is kind of madly annoying. But, uh, you know, the Dangus Investigation Faction, it's all yours, Spatula. It's actually your detective agency. I just, I just expanded it. It turns out that, uh, actually you're the boss, not Tony Danza. It was clearly Angela, but, uh, this kind of trivia is very old. Damn. Well, Bradford, I'm sorry I treated you so poorly and... Thank you, thank you for helping Dangus Investigations. <laughs> Here, I thought someone stole my agency, but it turns out you were just trying to help. That's right, Commander. Uh, now it's all yours. Uh, all 1.4 million detectives in Bologna's. Uh, also, uh, it's payday tomorrow, and uh, people need to get paid, you know. I, I had to take out all kind of loans to keep things going. Bradford. Yeah, I mean, uh, Dangus Investigations is in a shitload of debt right now. Sacre bleu, I am waiting on my Christmas bonus. Bradford. And also, uh, we're really gonna have to grind a bit, cause, uh, you know, the faction really pissed off some local dictators and stuff. Bradford! 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 I had found my answers. Well, I didn't really save any emperors, I had solved the mystery of how my little one-man detective agency became a faction. And now I was gonna need to make some money to pay off the massive debt. So, uh, if you have any mysteries you need solving, and you're willing to pay in credits, and or Lavian Brandy, then call Dangus Investigations, and we'll be on the case. See you in the next episode, Dangus Space Diary. Stay tuned oh, for more Dangus shit. Investigations Nova, Nova, and stuck. future episodes. We're, we're stuck, Nova. Subscribe stop to this channel the channel and ship. like this video, or ship, you may Nova. find we're yourself slot locked by a Beluga NPC terrorist. 07 Commanders. It's Bradford! I scared you, huh?